fall 2011, I came out, um, just took one of the beginner lessons here at Blacksburg Swing Dance. Um, really had a good time, got to hang out with a lot of my friends. It was very social, met a lot of new people, and so I kept, so I just kept coming back. I just, I fell in love with it. It, it was just from that first lesson on, I was dancing two or three times a week. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, and I had never like been a part or experienced anything like that community before. Um, and I couldn't believe that when the end of the night came, I had to go home. Uh, so I just kept going back and going back and going back. Dancing kind of, and swing dancing um, in particular kind of dominates a lot of my schedule. Um, I work on things on my own. Um, then I teach classes, I'm involved with organizing the dance and helping to train new teachers and DJs. What I love about dance is that it's less about the mechanics of dance and more about the feeling of dance. You know, if you could ask any dancer and ask them how they know they did the specific move right, and they'll tell you it just feels right. You just feel it. You just know. There's a, a really poignant connection that happens between you and your partner, and you have this three minute conversation expressed through the music, but then you have an added layer to this expression. Um, and that's the scene around you and everybody else dancing around you because you feed off of the energy that everybody else gives you. You um, feel the movement and the rhythm of the rest of the dancers and it allows you to play off of them, to riff off of them, and it's really an incredible collaborative experience of the entire dance floor when you're social dancing. It's taught me how to see myself as pretty and beautiful. And it's also taught me that, you know, how to be in the moment and, and enjoy something. Because when you're dancing with somebody, you can't not enjoy yourself and be in the moment. I don't think I've ever had a dance where I haven't like had this stupid smile on my face because I'm just so happy to like be there. And it's kind of hard, you know, like during like a work week or like a really stressful time in life to like stay in the moment. And dance has really helped me with that. Socially, you're just accepted into this group universally. Like I could walk into any suite, uh, scene in any city and just just belong instantly. And you know, each scene has its own quirks, like its own little dialect, and it's so much fun to go somewhere new. And you know, that's really when your little dialect is hi like highlighted. One of the other things that I really love about dance, and this is one of the things I tell anybody who's interested in dance, especially social dance, is that it's an instant community anywhere that you go. There's small scenes all the way across the country, dotted across the country at, you know, in big cities, and in small towns, so no matter where you end up, you can go find your local dance community and you have an instant set of people that you connect with share an activity with, and you get to meet people that you wouldn't have ever met otherwise. In terms of like psychological strength, that community is just invaluable. I began to experience symptoms of bipolar disorder and I didn't know what was happening. All I knew is that I felt awful, and if I didn't have that really tight swing community who were able to pick up on how I was feeling um, and how it was different than normal and you know just really have my back and support me and making sure that I was coming out to dance and exercise and have fun is what really brought me through the episode and kept me here and kept me alive. Thinking about it I could travel anywhere 
pretty much anywhere um, in the United States or uh, around the world, and I would find a home with a dancer. Um, and I know that even if I didn't know their language, we would be perfectly able to communicate to each other the joy we feel while dancing as we dance. When I watch swing dancing, it's just unbridled joy <laughs> in everyone, everyone dancing, um, everyone sitting along the sidelines. When you watch people go up to other people and ask them to dance, they hop out onto the floor, um, they run onto the floor, you know, it's, there's no sense of reluctance there. When you're dancing, it's just freedom, and it's true, it's just limitless freedom. Um, it's almost like the rest of the world melts away and it's just you and your partner and the music. And it's a really interesting unity. You know, I heard someone um, say that art is how we decorate space and music is how we decorate time. And it's almost as if you and your partner are making the art to decorate the space and fill the spaces that the music creates. And that's how it really should be when you're dancing with a partner, when you're dancing by yourself, that joy should be shooting out of your core, out of your sternum, out of the tips of your fingers, out of the top of your head. Um, it should shoot out from the bottoms of your feet when you're kicking in Charleston. And that's what makes you a dancer. 